indirect cholinergic agonists are medications that increase the availability of acetylcholine at cholinergic receptors, which can be both nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. Some common locations in the body for these receptors are skeletal muscles, visceral organs, the eye, and the central nervous system. Therefore, these medications can be used in such conditions as Mycenaeus gravis, urinary retention, glaucoma, and dementia. But before we go much further, let's refresh our understanding of the physiology of cholinergic nerve transmission. Step one, an action potential propagates down the neuron to the axon terminal, which will result in the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, or ACH. Step two, ACH crosses the synaptic cleft and binds to cholinergic receptors, activating the effector organ, such as skeletal muscle or postsynaptic neuron. And step three, an enzyme, acetylcholinesterase, then degrades ACH into two parts, choline and acetate, which is taken back into the neuron and remade into ACH. So, indirect acting cholinergic agents work by blocking the enzyme, which then means there's a more availability of acetylcholine at the cholinergic receptors and thus a greater effect to organ or postsynaptic neuron stimulation. Now let's take a look at this table with some common indirect acting cholinergic agents, where in the body they work and their clinical uses. Firstly, edrophonium works primarily at the neuromuscular junction. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder that occurs when antibodies bind to cholinergic receptors at the neuromuscular junction. This leads to their inactivation of the receptors and thus muscle weakness. So edrophonium allows the accumulation of ACH at the neuromuscular junction and therefore increase in muscle strength for those with myasthenia gravis. Number two, neostigmine is a longer acting agent compared to edrophonium, thus it can be used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Neostigmine can also be used to reverse the effects of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents, which are administered during surgery to induce muscle relaxation. Neostigmine is a medication that can be used to treat post-surgical ileus and urinary retention, conditions where the normal movement of intestines and or the urinary bladder are reduced after surgery. Number three, physostigmine acts at the neuromuscular junction and the eye and is commonly employed as an antidote for anticholinergic poisoning, which can result from an overdose of medications with anticholinergic properties, such as atropine and certain antihistamines. Lastly, donezepil works in the central nervous system, increasing acetylcholine levels in the brain, thus improving cognitive symptoms such as memory loss in patients with Alzheimer's disease.